know what other bits I can see on there. <laughs> okay, let's see what we're going to do. Oh, look, there's two of me. Oh, I wonder if there's more than two of me, because there's me and the computer as well. That, that's that's kind of fun. Right, here we go. I'm preparing for a 10 o'clock. So if you catch us now, I'm just on here preparing for a 10 o'clock start. So please join us at 10. By all means, stay here with me. I'll just... um. <laughs> what fun here we go comments do 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 start okay that we're live now what i've got to do is things like we're on the group i've got to show it on the page on the bubbly maths page so if you um like that page there's lots of um live activities and lots of videos to watch pictures to look at as well as on the making maths fun for kids of all ages, but it's not happening. Here we go, share, share to a page. Hello. Uh, choose the right page. And now, um, so bubbly maths show. Bubbly maths Sunday, bubbly maths fun Sunday show. Maths Fun Sunday Show and what else we're going to put in there? The Maths Fun Sunday Show, Sunday Fun Fun Fun, fun 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 fun. Um, fun day. Today's fun day. Um, so today is we playing with squares, squares with balloons and bubbles and bubbles. Maybe I'll copy that if I need that again. Post, 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 post. And um, okay, that's going. And now the other thing we have to do is put that back to me and start a watch party. But then I've got to remember, yes, I'm on the group there. Refresh. So I'll come and have a look. Mm, dear, no, that wants to be the bubbly mass. Bubbly maths page. I'm starting in six minutes, so not ready to start yet. But what I'll do is I'll start inflating balloons and things. So that's quite fun to watch anyway for some people, but especially for little people. So get rid of that one. We've now got, oh, well, it's actually right. I've got to actually do that bit. Start that live. That's the watch party. And then we've got six minutes oh right let's silence that yet but, what I'll do but is at least that confirms sleep. that you can hear my voice which is good and let's see who's here so we've got we've got oh, we've got the group and if you uh, please do share if you've enjoyed it please do share with other people let them know about the make it Must fun for kids of all ages where we are doing activities for people doing maths at home so that helps grown-ups it helps older older learners to help younger learners and there's every day we have activities that are each day it's an activity where there are examples or active it's all the same subject let's say and there are activities that can be done by all different ages and attainment levels so please do join us it's nine o'clock every every morning and it is and um, that's it every morning which is well, I'm actually presenting to the younger learners and then every evening, Monday to Friday, no, every evening, Sunday to Thursday is preparing for the next day. So that's more talking to the older learners and the, um, and the adults. So, oh, okay, that's why it's not there. Oh no, wrong one. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. It's a good thing I've got five minutes more before the show starts. The show starts in, ooh, four minutes. The show starts in four minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone that is listening, the show starts in four minutes. Please go and get your popcorn and your seats and come in front of the computer. <laughs> and get ready to watch the show. Okay, so that is in the group. That is, oh, I've got to play it to actually see what's happening. Oh, that's me. 
and that one okay and then i'm going to the page and can i see it yet can i see it yet oh is that yes that's it that's there no i don't need a watch party there okay that's there and then finally the watch party which is here so far no one has joined us i think we've got it that's it yeah we're good we're good right okay we've got three minutes to go i'm going to have a drink of water we've got soap bubbles we've got balloons now where is this going to be pointing whoopsie gotta have a look at the other one now to make sure we're looking in the right direction so that you can actually see what is going to be going on is that about right that's the height so this is about working cheers i'm gonna have some water and um I'm put myself on there Start inflating balloons. Now, what I'm going to do, you can make with paper sticks. So, if you were with us earlier in the week, you've seen that we make this with paper sticks. So, I'm not making it with paper sticks. I'm making it with ginormous balloons. Every balloon is a special length. Every balloon is one meter long. I know it's a meter because I'm a meter from my shoulder to the end of my thumb. And we're going to make three squares. Three, there we go. One, two, three, so. If every edge of every balloon is one balloon, if every edge of the square is one balloon, how many balloons do I need to inflate to make three squares? We've got the purple ones, the lilac ones. Yellow ones how many balloons? How many balloons of each colour? And how many balloons? Because each square will be one colour, different colour. How many balloons? When you can inflate, tell me when I'm ready, tell me when I'm done. There we go. I do love this machine. It saves time. Um, I don't well, I can't mouth inflate anyway. Now with the virus, I've got the perfect excuse anyway, but I never did. I never thought it was very hygienic to inflate a balloon and then hand it to a child. I never liked that idea. Apart from the fact that I don't have the, the, the right muscles, I have never developed the right muscles to do it. Go and right. what time is it? Because it's a show start time. Well, it's just about show start time, so I'll just get my three squares ready. One, how many balloons does that take? Two, three, one square. One blue square. One, actually, we'll be a bit more efficient. We'll wrap those two together on top here. Wrap those two together on top here. And turn them upside down. Blonk, blonk. Wrap those two together on here. Blonk, blonk. How many blues have we used so far? We've got two squares. How many balloons? That's a blue one. That's a yellow one. That's a Purple or lilac one, blom blom. And then we attach those two together, blom blom. And then we turn them upside down, back in the basket. Now we join these two together, blom 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 blom. So we've got three squares. Each one's made out of four balloons. How many balloons do we have? Fantastic. So let me see, make sure you can see me. Hello everyone, my name is Bubbles. Now we've got a special way of clapping. It's a bubbly mask, we clap like this. You see me? We clap like this, with a hand in the air, 
and we waggle our hands around. That is American Sign Language for clapping. It's also silent, so it doesn't hurt my ears. And it also is, well, don't need it right now, but if I'm doing a live show and everyone's making lots of noise because they're all excited because they've seen a hundred gazillion balloons, then when we do that, it's also a sign to listen. So if you want to use that at home, that sign, you could do that even, it doesn't matter what age you are, if you do that, it means you want people to listen to you. And you don't have to make a big noise to do it, you just do that. And then everyone will see you're doing that and they'll know it's time for everyone to listen to you. So there you go. Because it's kind of nice if everyone's quiet while you're talking, isn't it? If you've got something important to say. Now, well, what have we got? We've got four squares. Four squares, four squares, not four squares. Maybe we'll move this out of the way so that I don't get confused about how many squares I've got. Hopefully done with that, hopefully. All the balloons will stay in one piece. Right, so we've got one, two, and three squares. So the question is, what 3D shape can I make with three squares? That's my question. So let me see what, what do I hear you say? Okay, let me see, 3D shape. Oh, I know. Yes, I, I know this one you're thinking about. This one here, and then it goes up. That's quite hard to do with one person, with two hands. One, two, and you dare do it on stage. I've got lots of helpers I mean, I've been helping me. What about, let me see if I can hold that one there like that. Is that the one? It's called a prism. It's called a triangular prism. I can see a triangle all the way through. It's cross stretch section. It's a triangle all the way through. Yeah, that's a 3D shape. What else? Okay, yeah, that, that's a nice one. Sometimes people say a rectangle, which is a 2D shape, but you can certainly make a rectangle by just laying them all flat. Okay, now what we want to do, do you see here, that edge is yellow and purple and lilac that's closest to you. This one down here is purple and blue. And this one here is purple and yellow. Well, the shape we're going to make, every edge is only one balloon. We are going to make a 3D shape. So what shape should we make it? What should we do? How can we make a 3D shape with these three squares? Oh, and I can't undo the squares and they still will be squares. So they must still be squares. I can bend them to get them into place, but when they're in place, they will all still be squares. Sorry? And like this, oh yeah, look at this. Let's have a go. If you have an idea, test it. That's the rule of maths. If you have an idea, test it. It doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. What matters is that you're testing it to find out what works and what doesn't work. So once you know what doesn't work, you know you can do, oh, wait a minute, Q. But what, what are we missing? We're missing anything for a Q? Yeah, there's, there's something missing there. You can tell your, the people that you're with what's missing. And also, remember, we can only have one balloon on each edge. <clears throat> so that's not quite going to do it. And we can't actually make a cube anyway, even if we were allowed two balloons on each edge, we would need another square, wouldn't we? So let me see. I know, I know. Yes, yes, this one. Like that. Okay, and you are quite right. That is a 3D shape, and all the edges are, <clears throat> are there's only single edges, that's right. It's not the shape I'm looking for, but it's, it's, it is. It does answer the question, so now I'm going to make it a bigger challenge. Now we're going to make a polyhedron. You might have heard of a polygon. A square is a polygon. Okay, this is time for my joke. Are you ready? What is a polygon? I don't know bubbles. What is a polygon? A polygon is an empty parrot cage. No? Polly? Polly wants an apple? Polly wants an apple? Gone? Parrot cage empty? Anyway, that's the joke. Sorry about that. You'll probably hear that joke many, many times if you, if you watch me regularly. It's, it's um, quite predictable. So, 
a square is a polygon. It's a 2D, it's a closed 2D shape. So and where, where every edge is straight. Now, these are made out of blue, so the edges kind of curve, but they're supposed to be shaped straight. So you have to pretend this, use your great imaginations to pretend they're straight. Now, then we've got one, two, three, four edges. So they're all straight and it's closed. You start at one and you end up when you finish. And it's got four vertices and that's a gone. A poly means many and gone means joints we've got joints all our joints they bend the sharp things so that's a polygon right so every face of this 3d shape is going to be a polygon so it's a polyhedron which means many faces so every face of a cube is a square and that every face of this shape, I will tell you that, every face of this shape is going to be a triangle. It's a regular polyhedron, so every face is actually, is going to be the same shape, the same size. Obviously, same shape, that's triangle, same size, every edge is the same length. And every vertex, every point, will have the same number of balloons coming out of it. It will be regular, it will be beautifully symmetrical. Now, how are we going to do that? I'm gonna give you a bit of a clue. I'm going to just think of the diagonal. Think of the diagonal, I'm going to put two of these balloons together, two of these squares together like this. One there, and one there. There we go. Right, so while you're thinking about that, I'm going to, you know, there we go. So we've got one square there, the yellow square, and we've got the blue square there. So where are we going to put the lilac square or the purple square? Where is that going to go? Okay, I hear a few of you saying, put it this way, put it through, put it through there. And that is indeed a 3D shape. But is it a polyhedron? Remember I said every face had to be a polygon, so it's going to be a shape you know. So it's going to be a triangle or a square it's not going to be a rectangle and, um, with different length edges because all the edges are going to be the same length. And it might be, what's the one after that? Maybe it's fine, it's called a dome decahedron. And then after that, um, that's not, that's not right. Let me get this right. Anyway, yeah, triangle, it's going to be a triangle, that's it. It's going to be a triangle, a square, a pentagon, a hexagon, it's going to be something. So what shape is it going to be? I'm just going to have a look, see if anybody's made any comments, and um, and then we'll continue with it. Leave it so you can see it. See it there. Yay. Sort of over here. Is that better? You see, it's a little bit anyway. And let's see if anybody's made any comments, any requests. Hi, Samantha. Oh yes, you got the triangular prism. See if you can get the the one that we're making now. And here we've got. Yeah, that seems to be running, so there's no comments there. And, oh, that's not running, so I can't see if there's any comments. Okay, so, triangular prism, yeah, that was the, the first shape, hi. Right, let's have a look. And, oh, now I've got to be able to see what I'm doing, so I've got to change the screen again. There. Um, okay, ready? So where are we going to put the last square? Over the top? Okay, all right. Oh, oh look there. If I put it there, that makes a triangle. Oh, okay. So if I put that one there, that makes a triangle. Let's have a look. There we have a triangle. In fact, if I join across there, we don't have one triangle. Suddenly, we have two triangles. You see the, the purple, yellow, and blue, top and bottom. So what are we going to do with the rest of it? Okay, let's do that then. Yeah, well, hey, check it out. What shape is this going to be? My goodness, I think I'm going to like this. 
I don't believe I'm going to like this. And let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. It's got one. That's one point. Here we go. That's it. One, two, three, four faces in front of me. Four triangles in front of me, and behind me, one, two, three, and four triangles behind me, which makes a total of eight. It's got beautiful symmetry, it doesn't matter which way round you're looking, it looks the same. And it's made up of one, two, and three squares. So that tells you how many edges it's made up of. And it's got a special name. Its name is, let me stand here. Its name is an um, octahedron. So it's got eight faces, eight faces, eight polygons. And it's an octahedron because it's got eight faces. Hello, and hedron means faces. That's what it means. Now you might have said diamond, and the thing, the problem with calling it a diamond in mass language is what we call ambiguous, vague. You don't actually know. If someone says, "Draw me a diamond." It could be many, many different things. Lots of people have lots of different ideas. Some consider even a square on its on its um, on its tilted over, a tilted square, to be a diamond. And it's not. It's still a square. And it could be lots of different shapes. So we're going to call, use diamond in, in the English language, in the language of mathematics, we're going to call this an octahedron, it means it's got eight faces. And it's made up of three squares, only three squares. So how many edges has it got? And how many vertices, how many pointy bits has it got? It's, if you look at the patterns, you identify the patterns of it, it's quite easy to work out. You've got a square through the middle, and then you've got one vertex at the bottom, one vertex at the top, it's easy to just work it out rather than use the symmetry, use the patterns of it to work it out, use the recognizing the properties of the octahedron rather than just going and counting them. But of course, if you've got little people, then you do, you want to just count them, go one, two, but do it systematically because a young child will kind of go up there and down there and they'll repeat themselves. So what we want to do is teach doing it systematically. So I should say model doing it systematically. So one, two, three, four. That's all the vertices on the yellow square. And now we've got the other two. So that's five and six. Make sure you're sure what you've counted. If they're very young, don't worry about it. Just model it. Just do it that way. And it doesn't matter what they're doing. As long as you, if you're modeling it, they will start copying you. And, and by the way, just so you know, any of my activities, this is a vertex, the pointy bit, this is an edge, and this is a face on a 3D shape, but a face on a 2D shape as well. Now these also, just a little, um, little point to point out, these aren't actually polygons because they, you can put your hand through them. Polygons are actually flat shapes, so a piece of paper is, a polygon, it's a rectangle and it's 2D and it's, um, so that's just a little note there. My, I, what I make with my balloons are, the old, every time I go here I lose my head. <laughs> Bubbles is losing her head, oh no! Um, yes, I, I'll always use those words because they're clear. If you use the word sides, then sometimes it's like, is it okay? I might talk about each one side or another side of a three shape, like this side and that side are the same, but that I'm not talking about the edge, and this is the edge here. Oh, yes, I was saying this is a skeleton, I call it the skeleton of a shape, so it's only the bones, it's only the edges, it's not actually showing you the faces. You have to wrap it up in, in wrapping paper to see all the edges. So that is the balloons. Now it's time for bubbles and I call it bubble time. So I'm going to come down here so that I can see you and you can see me and we can all see everything. Let's have a look. 
sing, da -dum, da -dum. and this is just the wrong time for the sun to come out, which is lovely. We've got sun in London. That's rather marvellous. This isn't something that happens all the time. So we do like it. Not complaining. It's not ideal for the show. I think I might just have a little strip of light just there and just where I don't want it. Okay, right. Ah, yes. One glove. That one, that one. I have to put your hand in your pocket when you've got a glove in your, in your hand. Here we go. Two gloves. Move over another little bit there so that the sun doesn't do weird things, right? Okay, well, what have we got in here? We've got the shape. That is, oh my goodness, I've seen that shape before. It's an octahedron. One, two, three, four. And turn it round. Five, six, seven, eight. And what if I have it dipped in? I don't know. Ooh, how exciting. I wonder what's going to happen. Oh. What? Oh, that's not very good. Right, here we go. Let's see. Woo! So you get, you kind of got to be careful where it goes with this because it's my computer's right there. <laughs> it's quite interesting. Pop that before it goes all over my computer. <laughs> now, what will happen if I manage to get the bubble edge on every single face, the bubble, bubble film on every face of my octahedron? Let's find out what's going to happen if I manage to get a bubble face. So if you've got any missing, one missing there. I might know I've got one missing there. I've got to get the face, a bubble film on every face now. I'd encourage it to join together in the middle. Either way, right now it's quite pretty. Let gravity do its thing, move it round. See if gravity will... This is quite a thick film so I could do the big bubbles with you. Hooray, okay. All right, we've got something, oh, oh, it popped. This is a thick film, so I wanted to be able to do the thick bubbles with you. So I was, it isn't guaranteed to work, but you can still see some nice shapes happening. And you can definitely see some bubbles happening. If you use gravity, if you let gravity do its thing. We've got lots of bubbles coming out. Hooray, okay, we've got, oh, 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 oh. Here we go, here we go. Now we've got lots of little bubbles. Hey, yes, there we go. It's got lots of little bubbles inside, but you can also see the main shape, which is like a, where all the faces come together in the middle. Look at that, so pretty. So, so pretty. This is really, really thick juice, so it's, it's not a very um, perfect film, but look at this. This is why I did it like this, because <laughs> I love bubbles. Woo! See if I can catch it. Oh, and it's gone. Okay, now I said this is all about squares. So you, as you know, now know this shape is made of squares. You can't see them so much on this, but look, if you look that way, that's a square. And then this one, that's a square. We've done, let's see, we've done that one. We've done that one. That's it. We'll do that one. Then that one, we have to be systematic. And now that one, you can see the three squares. This one is different. Remember, we were, going, we were attempting to make a cube. This one, this one can be made out of three squares. This one requires one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six squares. Now, what happens if we dip it in the bubble juice? Just going to see if we can make some edges now. Earlier in the week, we were doing something about driving. And I said that I wanted to show you something using bubbles. And it had to do with the driving. It had to do with what they call a saddle. So we were, we were driving around a graph and we were around a curve and we were seeing how much we had to move the steering wheel. Now, whoa, look at that. It's so beautiful. Look at my towel. 
Whoa, that hand is a little bit too dry. Right, so we've got some, oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh. Can I do it with that one? No, it's gone, that's fine. Here we go. I've got to get six faces on here. And then I've got to have a dry towel so I can pop bits that I don't want. Could actually get a straw, pop bits I don't want. Hey, look at that. There's a, oh, there's lots of bubbles in the middle there. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one for now, because what we want to find is that curve. So if we pop this one here, and we pop this one here, and we pop the, whoa, nearly, nearly, see if I can get that curve. I made life difficult for myself because if I made a bucket of very, with a, a bucket of bubble juice with very little soap, it actually comes out a lot more easily. So I didn't do that. I came up with a bucket full with lots of soap. So now I've got to dry my hand, see if I can do it, see if I can make that shape because the bubbles will make those lovely shapes. Now we want that one to go down to, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Oh no, got rid of too many. What about if I go with that one? Oh, oh that's, that's, uh, yeah, there you go, I've got it, I've got it. Can you see, can you see it? Did you see it kind of went over a curve and it went back up again and it went down one way and then it went around. Watch for it next time. It's going to go up that way, but it's also going to go down. So it's kind of curving that way, but it's also curving that way. Let's have, have another look. Bubbles do crazy things like that. I love bubbles. I love bubbles. Me and my friend Cheryl, we love bubbles. Right, here we go. See if I can do it one more time. I really have made my life difficult because I wanted you to have big bubbles because we're going to do, we're not going to do super big bubbles today. Let's see if I can do that curvy thing. And um, release that from there. Oh, not quite. That's, oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, yeah, no, that one's not it. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. There. That one there. Do you see that one, that curve that's towards you? It was kind of curving that way and that way. You can do lots of curving. You just, now, if you just dip it in a little bit of a big bucket and have just a little bit of soap instead of lots of soap like I've done because I wanted to be able to do big bubbles with you. I'm going to do the last thing I'm going to do in here, which is my cubic bubble in the middle. So we can do that, although we might have a gazillion cubic bubbles. Here we go. We've got to dry that and make our cubic bubble in the middle. There we go. You see the cubic bubble in the middle there? I love that. I love making square bubbles. They're not really square because they're all curvy edges because that's what the bubbles do. But now we're going to set it free. Three, two, one, away. Set the bubble free. Set the bubble free. Set the bubble free. And set the bubble. Whee! And then finally, we're going to do a nice wash. You ready? Ready for some bubbles? Woo! Oh, and just while we're at it, just talk about the shape of the bubble. The bubble is a sphere. I wonder if I can catch one. Do you think I can catch a sphere? Catch oh. oh. I wonder what went wrong there. What can I do? Catch a sphere. Catch. Oh. Hmm. Maybe. Let's see what happens now. Did you notice what I did? Let's see now. Ooh, come back, come back. It popped anyway, but I did catch it. Let's see if I can catch this one. Ooh, there we go. Hello. Hello. On that note, I'm going to say goodbye. I've got my bubble. Oh, <laughs> I think I popped it with this one. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm definitely going to have to take these off before I touch the computer. And I can't hang up as it were before I touch the computer. So I'm going to say hello to anybody that's there. And take these off so I don't get my computer covered. Right, here we go. Let's have a look. Any other comments? Any other people to say hello to? Not right now. No one there right now. So I'm going to say. 
Right, I'm going to say, get it ready, get it ready. Thank you very much. And I'll see you tonight at eight, tomorrow, to next week at 10. It'll be a, a replay um, of, I think, the first show that I did tomorrow, next Sunday at 10. But there will be a show every, every um, week at 10 uh, on Sunday. That's 10 o'clock on my brain. It will start working any second now. 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, London time. See you tonight at eight, ready for tomorrow. And see you at nine o'clock tomorrow morning to do an activity based on the game that we've been playing over the weekend. Bye-bye.